Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Piathlon. In today's video, we'll be talking about ERC tokens. We'll explain what an ERC token is, we'll talk about the most popular ERC token standards, and we'll talk about the most popular ERC20 tokens. So let's dive right in talking about what is an ERC token. ERC stands for Ethereum Request for Comment, and it's a token standard that's built upon the Ethereum blockchain. So every time you see ERC, think Ethereum. And these ERC tokens are tokens that are built using the Ethereum blockchain, not their own unique blockchain. When we use the word token, we're referring to programmable digital units of value that are stored on the blockchain. ERC tokens are a special form of smart contracts that use Ethereum's blockchain and they can be used to create digital assets. These ERC tokens can also be used to power NFTs or non-fungible tokens, which are unique digital assets. ERC20 tokens were invented in 2015 and became the standard for EFT tokens. An ERC20 token has six mandatory functions. The balance of function, which keeps track of the balance in everyone's wallet, Total supply, which tracks the total amount of the ERC20 token in circulation. The transfer function, which allows you to transfer ERC20 tokens from one user to another. Transfer from, this allows a smart contract to automate the transfer process and send a given amount of the token on behalf of the owner. The last two functions work in tandem, and that's the approve function and the allowance function. Approve approves the withdrawal from the owner's address to the receiving address and it ensures that the supply stays under control by making sure nobody can create tokens out of thin air. The allowance function makes sure the owner has at least as many tokens as set in the approve function. So these two functions work together to make sure that the supply of the ERC token remains valid and that transactions added to the blockchain have been proved valid. You may have also heard of these ERC-165 tokens. ERC-165 tokens are specifically designed for contract-to-contract -contract interactions. What ERC-165 tokens allow you to do is describe how your contracts can interact with each other. So if you have one contract that needs to read information from another contract, then the ERC-165 standard gives you an interface that allows you to be able to facilitate these interactions easier. ERC-223 is a standard that was proposed but never finalized and it intends to improve upon the security of ERC-20 tokens. It uses a different function called transfer which lets tokens be sent to a personal address or to a smart contract. It simplifies the transfer process to a single step which means less gas fees and cheaper transactions and it's also backwards compatible with ERC-20 tokens. It keeps their original functionalities and solves some of the issues of ERC-20 tokens. If you've been watching the video for this long, I would like to ask you to like, comment, and especially subscribe being the most important one, and click the notification bell so that you never miss an upload. We have a lot of cryptocurrency content on our page, but we also have a lot of cloud computing, data visualization, Python programming and game development videos as well as a lot of other good content on our page. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Back to the video. Now I want to take some time to talk about ERC721 tokens and how they're different from ERC20 tokens. And I think the most important difference between the two is actually in the second row of this table. ERC20 tokens are fungible. ERC721 tokens are meant to be non-fungible. So if you're looking for something to facilitate transactions, you will want to use an ERC token that is more based off of money, whereas 721 tokens are more so to represent non-fungible things. So money, ERC20. NFTs are non-fungible tokens, ERC721. There are some other differences between ERC20 and ERC721 tokens that I would like to point out. When it comes to ERC tokens, there's no difference between tokens. One token is no different from the other, whereas with ERC721 tokens, the tokens have specific identities and they are not the same thing. One ERC721 token is not the same as another ERC721 token. It's not the case with ERC20 tokens. 
and because of that ERC721 tokens can be collectible and their value can fluctuate based on the underlying NFT of this ERC721 token, whereas with ERC20 tokens, the value of the coin is just the value of the coin. ERC20 tokens are also a lot more widely adopted and easy to substitute than ERC721 tokens. Because ERC20 tokens are meant to function more like money, they can be separated into decimals and split into smaller pieces. That's not the case with ERC721 tokens. Now let's just focus and talk about ERC1155 tokens. One of the largest benefits of these ERC1155 tokens is that you can mint an infinite number of both fungible and non-fungible tokens in a single smart contract. In addition to being able to have NFTs and fungible tokens in the same smart contract, you can also cut gas fees by up to 90% when you mint new tokens. You have advanced features such as being able to trade, destroy, upgrade, combine, rent, or loan NFTs. And there's also a batch transfer feature where you can send multiple tokens in a single transaction. And ERC1155 tokens are actually gaining a lot of ground and a lot of people are starting to implement ERC1155 tokens into their games and projects and it's becoming a well-respected member of the Ethereum ecosystem. Let's do a comparison between ERC721 and ERC1155 tokens. The largest benefit of ERC1155 tokens is that they allow for both fungibles and non-fungibles, whereas ERC721 is limited to only non-fungibles. ERC1155 even introduces this concept called semi-fungible tokens, which essentially means a fungible token can be transformed into non-fungibles or vice versa. Another benefit of ERC1155 tokens over ERC721 tokens is ERC721 tokens can only transfer one token at a time, whereas ERC1155 token is that bat's transfer feature we were talking about earlier that allows you to send many token IDs in a single transaction. We also allude to this earlier, but with ERC721 tokens, they require a new smart contract for each new type of token, whereas with ERC1155, you can have one smart contract that can be applied for many different token types. The most popular ERC1155 token is Engine Coin. With Engine Coin, it can back NFTs, and an NFT backed by Engine can be melted, which means converted, back into Engine Coin. And what that does is it increases the scarcity of your NFT, which puts upward pressure on the price of that NFT. Engine is also a limited valuable resource, so an NFT backed with Engine will always be worth at least the amount of engine coin that that NFT can be converted into, or at least that's the theory behind it. Here you can see the market caps of the most popular ERC20 tokens. Uniswap has a market cap of 14 billion, followed by Chainlink and USD coin that are at around 10 billion. So let's do a quick recap of what we talked about today. We began by defining what is an ERC token. We talked about ERC20 tokens, which are the most popular token standard. We talked about ERC1155 tokens and how they define contract to contract interactions. We talked about ERC223 tokens, which are not in use. ERC621 tokens we didn't talk about, but they're also not in use. We talked about how ERC721 tokens can be used for NFTs. And we talked about some of the advantages that ERC1155 tokens have over ER ERC721 tokens. We didn't talk about ERC777, 827, or 884. 827 and 884 are not in use. And if you want to talk about ERC777, then leave a link in the comment and maybe we can make a video about that in the future. That concludes this week's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss an upload. If you go to our channel, you'll see we have videos about iOS development, cryptocurrencies, Amazon Web Services, data visualization with Tableau, VBA with Microsoft Excel, game development in Python, 
and we have an entire Python basics course so we have a lot of content on our channel already and we have a lot of great content planned for you in the future so please subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss the upload. Thanks for watching and I'll see you